I'm very glad to present the website and along with that introduce St. Anthony's School for Saigon. Established in 1984 by Father Matthew Kotaram. It was a paddy field initially and now here instead of paddy, children grow with a motto to radiate light. The history of Antonis has been the growth, I would say, is very rapid and uh, the school has a name in the district and in the state. It has to its credit many, many achievements and I would not like to, in fact, uh, tell these achievements. But what I would like to tell is that all those who have contributed to the success story of St. Antonis. Hello, welcome to Sandarani School. We are happy to present our school website before you. It was a dream of our principal to begin this, and we are sure that it will help all of you to get a detail, details of the functioning of our school and the creative learning of our students. I wish to congratulate and thank our dear principal, Reverend Father Thomas D. Silva, for the successful beginning of this great event. We firmly believe that parents are core partners with their teachers in the education and character formation of a child. So we wholeheartedly thank all you dear parents for your support and cooperation in education and helping the helping us in moulding the little ones. I also thank Mr. Hassanul and other teachers for the efforts they have made to bring it into success. May our school motto to radiate light come true and live in the hearts of many those who come to visit this website. Many principals, headmistresses, teachers, students, guardians, local intellectuals, friends, benefactors, well-wishers, they have been all part of the success story of St. Anthony's. And in particular, I would like to congratulate all those who have, uh, who have contributed. There have been so many who have been giving me helping hand, particularly the parents. A lot of understanding they have been showing and I thank them and I wish that they would continue because uh, this is, though it is a minority institution governed and managed by the Dice of Omega, it's uh, um, the president of our governing board and management is right uh, Reverend Thomas Pulopoli, the Bishop of Bongaikao and uh, in the management it is the Catholic Church of Bongaikao is that is one managing however without the help and without the cooperation and without the support of so many we would be helpless and therefore I thank all those who have been helping us supporting us and at the same time I would rather, uh, I would uh, uh, request and uh, I wish and hope that this support continues. And in a way, this Antonis with the motto to radiate light has been like a family. In a family, there are no much of rules and regulations which govern, but more of understanding 
love, cooperation and extending helping hand to each other. Those are the things which are important and prominent. And I would like that Antony's remains an Antonian family, a family atmosphere where love and understanding is more than anything else. Apart from that, we also this year, last year, 2017, we had alumni meet, first ever, in the history of our school. And I'm so glad that though I was not associated much with St. Anthony's except for the past three years, I was overwhelmed to see such a great positive response that we had for this gathering. Alumni from all over the country they came, over 700 of them. And Father Matthew Potter was there, and the sisters, the sisters were there. And I found it, I found that they, uh, they are so well placed in the society and they are doing great and they are living up to the motto to radiate light and I wish every Antonian, every Antonian becomes great and contributes positively to the growth of the society and to the nation building. I wish all the very best, all the very best to Antonian family and pray to St. Anthony, our patron saint, through this intercession we in fact live up to the motto and the motto to radiate light becomes a success. May St. Anthony School live long and be great. Thank you.